Hey, what's going on party people? This is Pete with Backdraft Bikes. We're doing a ride review today on the Indian FTR, and this is the R edition, Carbon. Now, as you can see, there is all types of goodies on this thing, all types of carbon fiber going on. I mean, the detail and the incredible uh, quality control as this bike is put together is just really awesome. I mean, it looks amazing. Uh, it's a limited edition. The guy told me they're going to make them for a little while, but we'll see how long they make them. You can see Indian really took some nice cues on the way it's going to look. There's a lot of carbon fiber around. Now, I've ridden these FTRs before. My main complaint is that they're a little bit small, but I'm also six foot four. So I think if you were around the 6'2 range maximum, you probably wouldn't have any complaints about the bike. Uh, and if you're like me, you know, it, it's okay if you're on a smaller bike. It makes it a little easier to handle. But this bike is on the smaller side, and Indian really packed a lot of features into this bike. You can see a lot of detail um, was given with the way the frame is painted and you've got uh, different finishes but really everything mechanically just hangs out on the bottom here uh, pretty small radiator as well sits up front tucked up behind the wheel so it's pretty slick pretty slick indeed now one thing that's really interesting about this is the sidearm it almost has the look of a single-sided sidearm swing arm rather but it's uh, not quite it's they do have the exhaust off to one side and a mono shock that actually controls the rear linkage for the sidearm, you can see it kind of comes in and over, uh, is lending itself to the single sided arm too. But Olin's suspension, really well done, easily adjustable as well. These bikes are super duper fast. Would you like to see how fast they are? We'll rip it up the back of the speed track here and then we'll go on a small road course and give you some general riding impressions. Okay, so we're on the bike. There is a key switch, which is kind of unusual in this day and age with motorcycles and no, no fob, but that's okay. It's on there, you turn it, then you have your screen booting up. We have our uh, start button right here. So you can hear it, it's kind of got a little bit of a rumble. This is a 1200, so it's a pretty good size engine. I guess gotta hit okay, there we go. It's kind of interesting, the tack doesn't even register me rev revving it. There it goes. I guess I had to just boot up. All right, let's check this out. You ready? This bike is very fast and lightweight. The brakes also on the, these bikes are designed to stop, so we'll give it some paces. Here we go. Extremely fast. I'm gonna demonstrate the braking, a little wheel slip. You can feel the brakes on this thing. This is a fast, fast bike. Here we go. Lots of grunt right off the bottom. I think Indian mastered the balance of torque and RPMs on this bike. It really has a lot of grunt on lower RPMs. <laughs> but it really seems to come alive around 4,000 RPMs. It likes to be above that in the higher red, the higher revs. It does redline at 9,500 which, uh, excuse me, check that, 9,000 hit red lines at. So it's comfortable with living up in the higher revs, but uh, down low, right off the line, it actually does have a little bit of grunt as well. I'll put some stats on the screen here. This is the weight and the horsepower of this bike as I'm testing it. Again, very small. You got a you got a forward riding position um, similar to like a speed triple or a 
street bike, but it's a street fighter, you know, a, a naked bike almost. Small form factor, very manageable, very easy. Bike pulls off the lock like a rocket ship. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so nice. I've ridden this bike before, but not in the R version and not with the carbon fiber. I really like this bike. It's very pleasant on the eyes. The front riding position and the seat are very stiff. So uh, taking this bike on a really long road trip might be a little conducive to comfort. But, I mean, are you buying an FTR for comfort? Or are you buying it to give it, to go out and give it some spankings, you know? As far as cruisability goes on this bike, uh, at 55 miles an hour, I'm turning 3,000 RPMs. The bike is just kind of putting along. It does have a little bit of pull, but you can feel the engine lug. So, you know, on highway speeds, it'd probably be all right. This bike comes with this setup, comes with cruise control, which is kind of an interesting addition. Um, and it has a little joystick over here to control the multifunction display. Um, the it is a touchscreen, which is a really nice addition. And um, there's two varieties to see what it looks like when you're riding. This is more of the race. The other one's more of the analog. I'll keep it on this one. so. Uh, it might be a little easier to see. A lot of information on this bike as well. You've got outside air temperature, engine temperature, the gear selector, actually a compass indicator. Just scraped the peg a little bit, which is kind of crazy because I wasn't leaning that hard. Um, also, obviously your odometer, trip meters, and they have a range next to the fuel meter, which is nice. Tells you how many miles. Now, here's a little bit of a drawback about this bike. It's not a super deal killer, but it's just something to keep in mind. This bike does not have super long range. Because of the way the tank is situated and the size of the bike, it's not a bike that you're gonna, you know, go out and go touring with uh, for long distances. Now, that actually isn't a bad thing because after about an hour mark on this bike, I do start to feel a few crampy knee slash back issues just because of the riding position. So uh, the range on this is right around 100 miles of average riding. That's what I've found. So, you know, take a gas break every 100 miles. That's not too bad. Uh, give you a chance to stretch and get on your way. Now, another nice thing about this bike is the adjustability of the suspension. Uh, set up like this, obviously this is a sport bike, so the suspension is rather tight. Um, this this uh, road has some pretty good bumps and divots in it, and I can feel it in the bike for sure. Uh, does it make it go crazy and go off-road? No, it does not do that. It, it, it still has good road manners for moderately bumpy terrain. However, uh, this is not a bike that you would want to uh, really ride too aggressively on bumps, especially around corners because it could wash out. Uh, and definitely uh, some of the roads up here in uh, northern New England are like that. You, you get you get sand, you get ruts, potholes, and bumps and different things like that. So you just have to, you just have to pick your path, stay in your lane, uh, and be careful. Now you can see there's cops up here because everybody's on this motorcycle round route just ripping it up. So anyways, It's nice to uh, be able to take these bikes for a demo. We appreciate Indian giving them to us. Uh, I'm actually following somebody. It looks like they're on one of the new Pan Americas. And I've got a video on my channel as well with that bike. Kind of a fun bike to, to test ride. Um, I do like Indian's support network as well. You can call Indian, uh, their company number and, and what have you, and, and actually get a real person, talk to a real person. It, it's great. It really is. So again, I'll demonstrate some of the cornering ability this bike does have. We're gonna downshift to first gear, feel a little wheel slip as well. And when I come around the corner, if I lean down, I am awful close to the edge of the road. So you can feel this bike has a lot of really good 
down low torque. I mean, it is really, really good. Okay, we're on the back side of the track now, so we can explore the upper revs on this bike again. As I miss a shift, what an idiot. One more thing about this bike, would you bring a passenger on it? I had some people ask me that question. Um, it's a small bike, I don't know. You'd have to be a small guy with a small passenger probably. Um, it's a fast bike too, so obviously if the passenger's into speed, they'd really like it. Ignition sequence beginning. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stop and then take off from the start. Give you a chance, a little feel here, because we got a good stretch right here. Engine braking is really good on this bike too as well. You let off this thing and it it stops you. So here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. Bike. This, this bike is an evil mistress. Wow, so fast. So fast, such a small package. It's like, yes, uh, fun size, bud. All right. Well, I'm going to give this bike a solid seven on my rating. I, It's not an eight or a nine because of the comfort factor, but if you're buying a bike like this because you want to go fast then it's going to be a 10 in my book please ride safe let me know in the comments if you have one of these bikes if you've ridden one what your thoughts were and we'll catch you on the flip side <laughs>